Jordan Stella here, and welcome into episode 8 of the Stella Survival Series. And firstly, I need to apologise to every single one of you for the delay in this episode. Firstly, I had nephew week, and secondly, as you can see up in the corner, we are now in day 2138. Alright, first let's go for sleep. Alright, with the good night slumber, we are ready to go. Hopefully. Alright, so... I need to apologize, as I was just mentioning to you guys. The second reason being, I have been busy at work at the Guardian Farm, where I have been trying to get it wrapped up for this episode. That kind of didn't happen. Um, there's a lot more involved in it than I expected. It's taking a little bit more time. It's something that I want to show you guys on here first, rather than on camera, on the streams. So... You'll have to bear with me, that'll be over in the next episode, so we'll see it then. But in the meantime, that means, uh, we've done some work, so, so I, I apologize. Let me show you around the area and show you what is new here. Alright, so as you can see, we changed out the flower fields, which I do really love, and we have now got these big wooden doors over on this section of the builds. That now contains two of our netherwort farms. Now, netherwort is needed to be able to have our nether brick here. That is going to be coming from our big nether build. And speaking of the nether build, I'm going to show you in a little bit what we have been doing over at the nether build. Now, as you can see, we have now added in a moat as well as a drawbridge type deal. It's not really a drawbridge, but I like it. It's a cool bridge. We kind of started this out on camera and then I kind of finished it up off stream. The other thing we have now added is this nice spruce forest kind of surrounding the area with a moat and like these little rock edges kind of up against the edge of this. We are going to finish up the moat in today's episode as well as maybe doing something down in this little uh, area here because we do have ourselves a little waterfall. But with that guys, I'm going to jump into a quick time lapse of what we've been doing over in the nether build. Then we will head over to our brand new project because this this project behind us is done. We 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 have a we have a full on storage area. I mean minus minus the moat that needs to be done. But otherwise, this is done, guys. This is the first of the projects besides the starter base that is done in this world. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. But with that, guys, let's go jump over into a time lapse and then jump over to our brand new area that we're going to be working on today. realized I don't have any shovels at all to do this build so we're gonna have to do a quick enchanting session but then now I will show you after that there's a wall I, 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 I can't do these third person tab lapses then I will show you what we're gonna be getting on with today and with that quick enchanting session over we are back and gonna head back over to the overworld and our new project just as I was kind of coming over to the area where we're gonna be building our barn and such i just i thought about the fact that i hadn't even shown you guys a squid farm so this is a super simple design um all it does is use the mechanics or the fact that squid spawn in a river biome uh they come fall down hopefully we'll see one in a second all right so i did just check something i think i reloaded the world I'm hoping that that may help. Uh, so this is super simple. As you see, they just try and swim to the next water source. Sometimes they're successful, but most of the time they kind of just start swimming into an air pocket, which then makes them fall down. Super simple design here. Uh, we come down here and like this is the biggest corner. This is this section here. So that is the feeder in for that one. Um, but we've got a fair amount of... Black, uh, like black ink this is going to be well and truly enough for us to create our farms and such um 
But this is for another project that I'm going to be introducing to you probably in the next episode now. Um, but it's also the reason why we need to do a sheep farm, which is why we are doing a barn and a farm. Let's go. All right, so this is where today's episode is going to be. We are going to be using this space that is just, what are we, west of our spawn chunk. So that's our spawn chunks literally right there. And this is going to be our new area. I'm actually going to have to yeet a lot of these mobs because uh, I'm pretty sure that this is maybe the reason why I've got so much lag when it comes to the spawn area. We have a lot of mobs. So we're going to probably build the actual farm probably out this way a little bit more just so that we're not interacting with the spawn chunks. But we are going to have a luscious wheat field over on this side probably kind of surrounding a barn where we'll have our actual farm but then we'll have a wheat field coming all the way up maybe a windmill I I've never created a windmill guys like that is scary for me but you can kind of see with the area that we're working with but let's kind of get some more resources collected and get started on this area all right so we're going ahead and done like the first layer of this area and it's pretty much fully grown. There's just like a few splits every now and again. But this is kind of the vibe I was going for with this area. I might actually take out the water. Because once this is actually completely um, grown, it doesn't actually matter if it's hydrated cropland or not. So we may actually take it out so that when we kind of fly over here, there's not a bunch of holes. But I'm really liking the vibe. I think it's working really well. Um... And I, I really am. I, th I think it's going to look really cool, especially with the, like, you know, the little ship areas beside it. Um, but guys, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm done hoeing dirt and tilling the soil and planting the seeds. My hands are all shredded. I, I already had to go and fix my hoe once. So we're going to go do a bit of a different thing for the moment. We're going to go over and actually fix up our uh, moat over at the storage area it's pretty much one of the last things that I need to do as well as adding in some what are they berry bushes I think they are um so we're gonna do that over here at the storage area which is just loading in now um and then I think we're gonna go try and actually find some berry bushes I don't think I've found any in this world um so that's gonna be probably our first task and then second task is finishing up the moat to give it a little bit more out of depth at the moment it just looks very plain Probably get ourselves some sea pickles and that type of thing. But let's go for a little fly, find ourselves a spruce forest, and get ourselves some berry bushes. Hey, look what we found. Uh, so th this actually should give us some of the berry bushes we're looking for. I would assume. Um, I've kind of just gone into F5 mode. Just to kind of give me a better bit of like perspective um but we're gonna try and find some berry bushes in the here I, I assume they're supposed to be in here yeah? uh I, I may be wrong because i haven't seen any so far but I, I think they're supposed to be in here so i'm gonna have to take a look around i've got a fair few rockets to kind of search the area um and then i'll meet you guys back at the storage system let's go here we go finally got one it actually took me a couple of minutes. I think I've been walking around this area for like five minutes or so. Um, so it actually took me a little longer than I expected. Um, usually I find these fairly quickly, but I don't know. Maybe this world's a little bit unique. Um, like I can't seem to find any. Maybe like they're a rare thing in the Mega Tiger. I didn't think they were, but maybe they are. All right, well, we're going to head back to the storage area now. Fly with me, come fly, come fly away. And get ourselves set up to do some more stuff. I'm so confused by that. But at least we were successful. We got three berry bushes. That should get us well and truly set and ready to go for this project. I say, so I've gone ahead and I've actually used some mossy cobblestone to kind of make like some like these water features almost. Just like some, there's some rocks in this moat. Um, I am probably going to use some sea pickles to 
kind of light up this area at night because it is quite dark. I've also lit up uh, some of the area on the outside uh, with just some like sea lanterns with the new mossy carpet, which I really love. I think it's done a great job with at the additions into the game. So just like this, um, super simple. It kind of blends in a lot nicer than the old carpet does. So just sea lantern, chucking a mossy carpet on top. Super simple, but this means that this whole area is basically lit up now. Um, also going to be chucking down some sweet berries in the area, um, just to give it a bit more definition into the area. Uh, I don't want it maybe like really overgrown, but I do want just a little hint of just like some life in the area, not just, you know, trees, but kind of just like these little hints of something different bit of red kind of just brings out the area I think and I'm missing a carpet on there hmm but I'm just gonna keep going um I'm thinking of adding some like kelp in here um some seagrass you can hear skittles in the background having a little bit of a talk away he wants to say hello to you guys so I will pass along the message that you guys say goodbye to him um probably some seagrass uh some kelp I'm actually also thinking of adding maybe some magma blocks or some soul sand blocks because um, this is all water sources, it'd be kind of cool to have just some like particles or just like some little water elevators kind of coming up through the area. Again, just to give this area a bit of movement. I think we're lacking in the movement of this area for the moment. It's kind of very dead. There's kind of nothing really around. I'm kind of also thinking of adding in some horses in the area, maybe breeding some up and maybe some turtles in here. What do you guys reckon? Should we add some turtles into our moat? I think it could be kind of a cool little addition. Again, gives movement to the area that we're kind of lacking at the moment. It's very, although it looks pretty and I love it, I just want to add that movement into the area. Maybe a few beehives just to kind of, yeah, give that movement into the area. And I've just said that like a dozen times, Stella. Like, everyone gets it, you want movement. But do you guys get what I mean? Like, do you, do you kind of like, kind of like the bunny in the background? I mean, it's kind of a bit of a derpy bunny just kind of bouncing at the sand block, but it's a bunny nonetheless. <laughs> with that guys I'm gonna keep going um get this area completely ready and just be able to finish up this area finally like I'm really excited another one wait did I I, I put the carpet in the wrong spot hold there we go um I'm really enjoying this area I really love what it's looking like now but just wanting to add these like kind of finalizing features just to kind of really finish it off and I think that's what's going to make this area fairly unique um give, kind of give it like that old uh olden vibes kind of from like those areas in England I could kind of say I've seen some really nice photos um of like the older areas like the older woods and that's kind of really what I'm trying to emulate here but I'm just going to keep dotting these around lighting up the areas adding some more rocks to our moat and generally just finishing off the last of this area and look at the beautiful moon rising behind us. I better hit it. Keep going, guys. Um, and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's finished. All right, so I've started up this. Why is there always one little jerk of a water source that doesn't want to be there? Anyway, I did add some drip leaves. We've added in some kelp. Uh, we've added in some of the grass as well as some of the sea pickles. They're a little bit more hidden now that we've added in the rest of the blocks. There you go. There's some sea pickles there. Um, so it does give much more movement and like, like a lot more variety to the moat. I think it looks a lot better than the, the bland moat we had before. Um, as I mentioned before, I am going to add in some turtles and maybe some glow squid was even my next thought. Because uh, the glow squid would be, would be quite nice at night to be able to kind of show off um, as we're kind of walking around the area. We could just have a bunch of glow squid kind of doing their thing all around the area. It does mean, though, that we're going to have to do something with this. Because I'm pretty sure the glow squid are going to be just as dumb as the regular squid. And yeet themselves onto here. Um, but guys, it has been yet again a few more days. I know, I am hopeless at this recording thing. I'm trying to get better. I am more of a streamer than a YouTuber. Um, but I'm getting there, I promise. But we have actually done a bit more work over at the barn area. Um, so I'm going to show you that, finish off the episode over there, and I'll see you guys in just a second over at the barn. So welcome to our little barn area that we have here. Um, this is the wheat field that you saw early in the episode, and 
this little red piece of scaffolding, netherrack scaffolding, um, is just a temporary blocks placement. So I could kind of uh, graph out the area. Um, so this is going to be a driveway. We are going to have a few fields here with just a few cow, uh, cows, sheep. Uh, and this is the side of the barn. I kind of like how this turned out. We did this on the stream the other night um, and just kind of looked at a few kind of buildings, figured out one that we kind of liked, and then I incorporated a whole bunch of the elements into this build. Um, we do have these really nice uh, cross doors. Mo Yang, can I just, can I give you one, one suggestion, please? If we're not going to get vertical slabs, can we at least, please, please get wooden slabs, like wooden uh, walls, sorry. Oh my goodness, the other night I really wanted to add a really cool sliding door feature out of wood, but it was just not working. It kind of looked a little bit too chonky, uh, whereas this, although adding a little different, um, actually looks a lot nicer in comparison. Um, you kind of got these, like, what I would view as these big steel doors. Um, and just as you can kind of see, we've actually got a few sheep currently just nibbling on the grass. Uh, this is an automatic shearing farm. So this is going to be all of our wool supply that we need. Um, we built it a little earlier than I usually would. Um, just so that we could be not AFK in this area, but we could also be building up and actually running this whole farm at the same time. Um, so that the sheep could still be able to get sheared um, and such. So at the moment, these are all naked boys, but... It was all right. Um, we are going to add in coloured wool. Oh, there you go. Um, with what colour... Uh, coloured glass, sorry. With what colour wool is indicated in the chests. Um, up the top is all white, and then we've got all of the other 15 variants of colours down the bottom here. Um, so I believe it goes from black to uh, brown to... I think that's purple on the end here. Um, but we are going to build up a f barn around this this is going to be a two-layered barn um i'm thinking on the upstairs section i'm actually going to put up a banner area so for any future banner needs um, we're gonna have a bunch of banner patterns i may spend a few days just kind of getting every banner pattern that i can possibly think of um and put them up the stairs for redemptions over on the twitch channel that is one of the things i do want to add into the world um super simple shearing farm all you have to do is have a hopper minecart piston a gl grass block into it um, with a hopper into a chest. Um, there is an observer at the back uh, underneath this block here that is updating when that grass block is eaten. It then indicates with the redstone um, to the dispenser that it needs to dispense one of these sets of shears to shear the sheep. So super easy, super simple farm. I love it. Um, I've always pretty much used this farm since I found it. I know there's probably other varieties out there, but this to me is just super efficient. Um, but with that, guys, let's wrap it up for this episode today. Thank you so very much. If you've made it to the end of this episode, we're just going to ignore the, ch the chess monster that's happening behind me. We, we don't need to talk about it, guys. There is not an issue with chess monsters. We don't have a massive story system over, over, over behind me, over in that direction. Mm -mm. Nope, 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 nope. I'm in denial. But with that, guys, thank you for making it to the end of the episode. If you have made it this far, please f consider hitting the like button as well as hitting subscribe on the channel. It does really help me out, and I would love to see you here into the future with this world developing around us. Um, also, keep an eye out for the next few days for a special new episode hitting the YouTube. It is going to be our introduction to the Guntry Craft SMP, so make sure to subscribe to see those episodes over there too um we're not going to be streaming that server as much as what we are doing in the long-term world so you you're going to want to make sure that you're over here right all right you're gonna you're gonna gotta subscribe but with that guys thank you for being here i really do appreciate it and i'll see you next episode bye for now